Um, hey everyone, um, this is a short um, demo for you to use, for your kids to use LanguageNote at home. Um, so when you get onto the LanguageNote website, <clears throat> all you have to do is click on login and enter your child um, username and passwords. Um, um, your teacher will have to, you will have to get that from your teacher. And just click on login. So the first page um, shows you the, um, the flag of the language that you, your child is learning. So I'm just going to go uh, onto French for the, for this demo. This is what we call the main dashboard. So what you will see is um, where your child is ranking uh, within the school against all the other students within the school. Uh, their world ranking against all the other students we've got worldwide. Achievements um, as they complete work on the resources and on the website, uh, your child will be rewarded with um, medals and trophies. And finally, skills uh, is for them to have a look at what they've learned um, throughout all the different skills. <clears throat> So what I'm going to show you quickly, I'm going to show you uh, the different resources that we have very quickly and then we'll go on to homework overview um, so you can see how it looks like when your teachers has assigned some work. So let's go to vocab trainer. So all the vocabulary is um, split between four difficulty levels, which you can see here at the top with a little die. Each difficulty level uh, is split um, between six chapter. Each chapter contains six unit. And each um, unit contains 10 words and phrases. So this is where your child will be able to learn the new vocab <coughs> or new topic. So they can have a play around listen to the flashcards, they can remove the audio if they want to, and they can also remove the support language. They can fast forward or rewind, bring back the audio, bring back the support language um, for them to really integrate the vocab. Once they've integrated um, those new words and phrases, they can go into playing and practicing. Um, so we've got different games throughout all the different skills, the four skills. <clears throat> the first one is reading. I'm going to show you, I'm not going to show you all the games. You can have a look at, uh, look at it yourself and play around. But the most popular one is word pop. And they just have to uh, burst the right bubble with the correct flashcard. So, bonjour. Um, If they get it wrong, like this one, the bubble will turn red. And if they get it wrong twice, it will move on to the following flashcard. Um, at the end, they will, they will be given uh, a third chance to get the ones that they got wrong right. <clears throat> Listening, same concept. I'm going to show you just one game. They just have to hear the audio and just match it with the correct translation, uh, the correct tab. Um, I'm happy. And it will move on to the following audio. Writing. So writing, they can either use their physical keyboard or their um, digital one. I'm assuming um, the keyboard that you have at home um, doesn't have any accents, um, so you can find all the accents on the digital keyboard. And all they have to do is type um, the translation of the flashcard.
and then it will move on to the following one. Finally speaking, um, we have voice recognition um, software built in within LanguageNow. So all you have to do is obviously enable your microphone um, when doing this activity. It usually asks you, there's a window popping up asking you to enable it. Uh, otherwise, I'm sure you can enable it within um, your um, settings. Uh, and all your child has to do is click on the microphone and just speak to the speak to the, the computer. Je suis content. And it will just pick it up. Once they've practiced enough, they can go on to the test section. Uh, the difference between practice and game and test uh, is that test only allows you um, one chance to get it right uh, and you get double the points. Going back to the home page, the dashboard, you can click on this little home here. For French, Spanish and German, we've introduced grammar and verbs. Um, again, I'll let you have a look on your own on this section. Sentence building, um, we've got more than 20 different topics. You can see what phrases are included within um, this topic by clicking on a little question mark. Two different games, Fridge Magnet and Sky Rise. Fridge Magnet is uh, a drag and drop game where you need to put the correct um, cards in the right place. to move to the next one and just translating the phrase at the top. If you get it wrong, um, it will show you which tabs are wrong. You have a second chance to get it right. All right. Um, you can change here if you have uh, your child is learning different languages at uh, one time, you can change uh, the language um, by clicking on the little flag here and it will take you back to uh, the main flag screen. Now moving on to homework overview. Um, as I was saying, this is where uh, your teacher's uh, assignment will appear. You can either click on this button or click on the black sheet here at the top. Once you get onto that page, what you can see here are so all the active assignments will be shown will will, will be shown onto new assignments. And this is when the due date is in the future. So as you can see here, the due date is on the 15th of April. So it still shows on new assignments. Once the date is passed, it will automatically move on to past assignments. You might still be able to complete the assignments, uh, but this is um, up to your teacher. Um, so I'm just going to show you quickly how it looks like. So all you have to do is click on the blue link. <clears throat> and you will be taken to uh, the right topic uh, that your teacher has assigned. So same process, you can just learn the words, practice and game, um, pra practice all the vocab that you've just been assigned. And finally, the test, um, you have to take the test in order um, to score points and in, in order for the, the assignment to show as completed. If you just do practice and games, it will not. So once you've clicked on the test, um, your score will appear here and you will see the number of tasks that you've completed. Your teacher will be able to see what you've done and how many tasks you've completed as well. All right, guys, I think that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, um, please contact your school or contact your teacher and they will contact us or they might be able to help you. Um, uh, I hope you have a, um, a great time using the resources and uh, yeah, 